And on entertainment tonight, a large crowd of movie enthusiasts turned up at the Silverbed Cinema Crowd Mall to watch Sparrow Pictures' latest movie, The Perfect Picture, 10 years later. Patrons described it as a great movie. But really makes the movie, what really makes the movie stand out? Well, also Rai has been engaging the cast and producer. Hundreds of movie lovers thronged the Silver Bed Cinema on Saturday night to see the much hyped movie Perfect Picture 10 years later. Originally produced in 2009, the Perfect Picture was about three beautiful women pushing their 30s and making bold attempts to change their lives even when destiny plays its joke on them. Ten years ago, I had the call to fix a broken air condition. In the office of the most beautiful woman I had ever seen. The new project, a remake of the romantic comedy, gives movie enthusiasts a sneak peek into the lives of the three lead characters ten years on. Ten years later, it was important to do a film that the stories reflected where we are right now, especially with women, uh, marriages, the challenges that people go through. So I feel when people watch it, depend, it doesn't matter who you are, if you're single, married, there's stuff you pick from it that will, you know, um, inspire you and start a conversation. The star-studded movie triggers conversation on childlessness and puts the spotlight on the realities of marriage. Na Shoko played Akesi, one of the lead characters in the movie. There is this assumption or presumption, if you like, that once you get married, you want to have children. But that might not necessarily be the case. And how, you know, we pressure people, when is the baby coming, when is the baby coming, that, that could just crumble you and push you to the world to do what you probably I no plans of doing just to satisfy the society. This movie allows us to talk about it. Jakapia played as a in the movie. Actors were on point, you know. Everybody put in their best. Um, because this is a film that won many awards 10 years ago. So if we're coming back, it must be better. We must have improved. And everyone put their best in it. And um, I'm happy that um, we all did well. It's amazing. It's amazing. In terms of locations as well, we have beautiful locations you cannot think of. Like when you watch this film, you're going to ask yourself, are these locations actually in Ghana? With this vibrant costume, indigenous music, breathtaking locations, and integrating storyline, the movie is tipped to keep movie lovers glued to their seat. Nathaniel Alto is the producer of the perfect picture 10 years later. Ghanaian locations, Ghanaian costume, Ghanaian textiles. Ghanaian acting, it's a Ghanaian film and um, we really went out to make that prominent in this film. The perfect picture 10 years later will be screened in Kumasi in the coming week.